By repeating this test, you will gain the knowledge and skills needed to pass the DMV written test confidently in just one attempt. IQUIST Theory wishes you the best of luck on your upcoming DMV written test. What does a solid yellow line on a roadway indicate? Passing is allowed during daylight hours only. No passing allowed. C. Passing is allowed in designated areas. B. No passing allowed. A solid yellow line on a roadway indicates that passing is not allowed. Drivers should not cross the solid yellow line to overtake or pass other vehicles unless there are specific circumstances, such as turning left or avoiding an obstacle. Which of the following is true about a learner's permit? A. It grants full driving privileges similar to a regular driver's license. B. It must be held for a specific duration before applying for a driver's license. C. It is only issued to individuals under 18 years old. B. It must be held for a specific duration before applying for a driver's license. A learner's permit is a restricted license that allows individuals to learn to drive under specific conditions. It is typically issued to both teens and adults. And the holder must usually hold the permit for a specific duration, often several months, and complete a certain number of practice hours, before becoming eligible to apply for a driver's license. What should you do when encountering a work zone with orange warning signs? A. Merge into the lane closest to the work zone. B. Increase your speed to pass through the zone quickly. C. Follow the directions given by the flagger or signs. C. Follow the directions given by the flagger or signs. Work zones often have specific traffic patterns. Reduce speed limits or lane closures. To ensure the safety of both workers and drivers, it is important to be attentive, patient and follow any instructions provided to navigate the work zone safely. What is the meaning of a yield sign? A. Give the right of way to other traffic. B. Stop and wait for the light to turn green. C. Proceed with caution without stopping. A. Give the right of way to other traffic. A yield sign indicates that drivers must give the right of way to other traffic, pedestrians, or cyclists. They should slow down. Be prepared to stop if necessary and proceed only when it is safe and clear to do so. You are driving on a multi-lane street with two-way traffic. The safest way to drive is A. In the lane next to the center line. Be alongside other vehicles so the drivers can see you. C. To drive ahead of or behind the other vehicles. C. To drive ahead of or behind the other vehicles. Driving alongside another car may result in an accident if the other driver crowds your lane or decides to change lanes without checking. To prevent this, drive ahead of or behind vehicles in other lanes rather than alongside them. A curb painted blue means A. People who are disabled and have a specific placard and plate are allowed to park there. B. You are allowed to park for an hour and 30 minutes. See a designated spot to use your phone. This spot is specifically reserved for disabled persons with a special placard and plate. This is to ensure that individuals with disabilities have convenient access to parking spaces. It is designated for vehicles displaying the appropriate disability parking permits. What is the proper way to respond to a flashing red traffic light? A. 
Proceed with caution without stopping. B. Stop and wait for the light to turn green. C. Treat it as a stop sign. C. Treat it as a stop sign. When encountering a flashing red traffic light, drivers must treat it as a stop sign. They should come to a complete stop. Yield the right of way to any other vehicles or pedestrians, and proceed when it is safe to do so. You and another vehicle arrive at a four-way stop sign simultaneously with the intention to proceed straight ahead, which vehicle has the right of way? A. The vehicle on the right. B. The vehicle with the loudest horn. C. The vehicle that arrives first. C. The vehicle that arrives first. When two vehicles reach a four-way stop sign simultaneously, and both have the intention to proceed straight ahead, the right-of-way is given to the vehicle that arrives first. The standard practice at a four-way stop is to yield the right-of-way to the first arriving vehicle and then continue in a counterclockwise order. At what weight and age must children be secured in a child passenger restraint system, facing the rear of the car? A. Up to 30 pounds and up, to age 3. B. Up to 40 pounds and up, to age 2. C. Up to 50 pounds and up to age 4. B. Up to 40 pounds and up, to age 2. Buckling up is the single most effective thing you can do to protect yourself and your passengers in a crash. It is extremely important to make sure all children riding in your car are properly secured before every trip. Thousands of children are injured or killed every year because their child passenger safety seats are not installed properly. Remember, most collisions occur within a mile of the home, so buckle your child in a safety seat for every trip, no matter how short. If you are not sure of how to properly secure your child in a safety seat, contact your local CHP area office and ask to speak with a child passenger safety technician. When approaching a school bus with its stop arm extended and red lights flashing, what should you do? Proceed with caution at a reduced speed. Stop until the lights stop flashing and the stop arm is retracted. Pass the school bus at a safe distance. B. Stop until the lights stop flashing and the stop arm is retracted. When a school bus displays its red lights flashing and its stop arm extended, drivers in all lanes, including those traveling in the opposite direction, are required to come to a complete stop and remain stopped until the light stopped flashing and the stop arm is retracted. This is to ensure the safety of children boarding or exiting the bus. Passing a school bus in this situation is illegal and dangerous. Which of the following behaviors best describes you as an aggressive driver? A. Keeping a safe following distance from the vehicle ahead. B. Using turn signals to indicate lane changes or turns. C. Speeding and frequently changing lanes without signaling. C. Speeding and frequently changing lanes without signaling. Speeding and frequently changing lanes without signaling are examples of aggressive driving behavior. Aggressive driving includes actions that endanger or annoy other road users, such as tailgating, running red lights, or cutting off other drivers. You must notify DMV within five days if you A. Sell or transfer your vehicle. B. Are cited for traffic violations. C. Paint your vehicle a different color. A. Sell or transfer your vehicle. If you sell or transfer ownership of your vehicle, you must notify the DMV within five days. This notification is essential for updating the vehicle's registration and ensuring that you are no longer held responsible for the vehicle.
It helps in maintaining accurate records and preventing any issues related to the vehicle's ownership and associated responsibilities. What is the function of an anti-lock braking system, ABS, in a vehicle? First, to enhance the vehicle's aerodynamics and improve fuel efficiency. B. To prevent the engine from overheating. C. To maintain traction and steering control during braking. C. To maintain traction and steering control during braking. ABS helps prevent the wheels from locking up or skidding, allowing the driver to maintain control of the vehicle while braking. This can be particularly useful in emergency braking situations or when driving on slippery surfaces. You want to park uphill on a two-way road and there is no curb. Which way do you turn your front wheels? A. Let the wheels face straight ahead. B. Right towards the side of the road. C. Left towards the center of the road. B. Right towards the side of the road. When you park uphill, turn your steering wheel away from the curb. Allow the back of your front wheel to touch the curb. The curb will serve as a brake. Your vehicle will not move if the brakes fail. When parking downhill, make sure your front wheels are pointed toward the curb or sidewalk. The curb will serve as a brake when the parking brake fails. When there is an O curb, turn the wheels toward the shoulder of the road. If your parking brake fails and there is no curb, your car will roll off the road. Here is a short rhyme I composed to help you out. Blundell says, downhill to the curb, uphill to the road. No curb to the curb. You must yield to a pedestrian carrying a white cane or with the aid of a guide dog. A. Only when a guide dog is leading the person across a street. B. At all times. C. Only if a crossing guard is present. The white cane is a symbol of independence and blindness. The white cane allows an individual who is legally blind to travel independently. According to California state law any driver who fails to yield the right-of-way or take all reasonably necessary precautions to avoid injury to this blind pedestrian is guilty of a misdemeanor, punishable by imprisonment in the county jail not exceeding six months or by a fine of not less than $500 and not more than $1,000 or both. What is the meaning of this sign? A. There is bridge ice and the road ahead is winding. B. There is a sharp curve ahead. C. The road ahead may be slippery. C. The road ahead may be slippery. Slippery when wet sign is used to warn of unexpected slippery conditions. This usually means that a part of the roadway becomes more slippery in wet or cold weather. Expect to see the sign close to bridges and overpasses, which freeze first in cold and wet weather. Bridges and overpasses also dry out last. In wet or cold weather, you must slow down and drive with caution. Which of the following is an example of distracted driving? A. Adjusting the radio volume while driving on a straight road. B. Checking the rearview mirror before changing lanes. Reading a text message on a mobile phone while driving. C. Reading a text message on a mobile phone while driving is an example of distracted driving. Distracted driving involves any activity that diverts attention away from the primary task of operating the vehicle safely. This includes texting, using a mobile phone, eating, grooming, or any other activity that takes focus away from driving. 